Hi, this is John McEnroe. With me today is Pat Cash. Welcome to this match. Oh, that's a nice. What a booming serve. Well, Nadal's well beyond the baseline, but smoked that for a winner. The pros and cons are hitting your shots deep. The pros are you give your opponent less time to come up with a pass and less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. Shot, he just decided to thump the ball straight down the middle for a winner. Oh, and game point now. I'll tell you what I like in that service game. It was for some excellent placement with the serves. Well, that certainly set up a few opportunities for him to, to thump a ball away for the winner. You know what I really like? Because these guys hit the ball so hard now. In that game, he mixed up his speeds well. He really kept his opponent guessing. Hardcourts was always my favorite surface pack because I could stop and start at a dime. Well, I think that's an interesting point because there has been some great attacking players. Sir Volley has, over the last years, been effective on, on the hard courts. Even though there's no bad bounces, not going to kick up, there's no dirt or grass to, to take a bad bounce or a bad jump, we've got such good grip around that, around that net that uh, I feel like there's nothing that we can't get. Well, making him move, of course, across court will also get him out of position, so you can then get to his weakness. If he has a weak forehand or a weak backhand or whatever it happens to be, by moving him around, you're going to be able to get to that weakness. What you want to do and hit the ball at your opponent is mainly off the serve and serve into the body. That's where you, the guy has a hard time when the ball's coming into him to be able to get enough power on the return to do something with it. I'm thinking he might be going for something on the serve. Threw everything at that for a ground stroke winner. Well, it's his first juice of the match. Now, this is an important serve. Well, a couple of weak shots from his opponent, but he's, he's got the he's got the break. Well, he did a couple of good things there. That's well done. Well, there's one way to get to a player's weakness, and that's, well, to hit their strength. What that does is opens their opportunity, it opens the court up, so you can hit it in quickly into their weakness and attack. Oh, what's he doing there? That's the easiest smash I've ever seen. Well, he wins that game. He's now leading comfortably. John, three games up in this set. He's not out of it yet, but he needs to get back into it real quickly here. He's got to up the ante here and put some more pressure on his opponent, hold easily, and try to get that break back. Oh, a great winner from the baseline. All right, you got a player love 30 down right now. You got to get a first serve in here, right? You want you're desperate for a free point. Yeah, you got to. It's a well, you know. And next point, of course, love 40 here in real, real trouble. So looking for a big first serve here and get a quick point. A winner from well back in the court. Well, with double break point, the pressure's really on this serve. Well, that's a 
great break of serve there. Fantastic tennis. He looks like he's seeing the serve really well right now. And that's, that's hard to do. These guys serve bigger than ever. So your hand-eye must be fantastic if you're going to get breaks like you just saw there. That's well done. Well, he's been playing poorly, and, uh, well, it shows on the scoreboard. Four love down. It's a disappointing effort. I know he thought he'd do better, but to lose serve the first two times you play here and get down four love, now all of a sudden you're worried you're going to get the old bagel in the first set. 6-0 doesn't look too good in the scoreboard, and you start hanging the head a little bit. <laughs> pros and cons of attacking the net. I know you love this stuff. Well, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross cut, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. And then we're underway again. Often. A beautiful hit slice shot for a clean winner. It had to be right on the mark, and it was. Love third. third. Well, he's out of position there on that serve. for a winner. Well, one big return, and the set's over. Well, that's the way to start a match. Grabbing the first set, there's certainly a lot of pressure now on his opponent. And we're starting up yet again. Fifteen love. He's made that winner look easy. service hold. And we're off again. Well, he's taken revenge on that ball. And he's hit the cover off it. Just go for even more, take something off it, stay back. Do you switch gears that fast? Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so I don't think he's got to be hoping that, uh, you know, it's a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope the opponent misses. Game. Well, in the end, that was a real epic game. game. Not surprising, he broke serve. There's some great return. That's for sure. That's a good break. All right, the player is looking to consolidate on serve after breaking their opponent. If he can get the serve assault here, he can really take control of this match. 
15 love. Yeah. Oh, you want the world to open up so you can dive in there. What a serve. That's a shocker. Second, Second serve. serve. Well, he really disposed of that second serve. That was a pretty short second serve. Stood in and hit it for the winner. You know your opponent's got a weakness, but you somehow, you can't seem to get there. You can't seem to beat him. What's the, what's the option to do? Well, give him credit for masking it, or give him credit for minimizing it and running around him. Say he's got a bad back end, not hitting back ends. So what you can't do is just say, look, put up a big sign and go, here I am, I'm coming to your weakness, because professionals are good enough to sort of counteract that. Well, that winner looked easy, but it wasn't. Oh, he's something else. What a backhand down the line. First serve is crucial here on this break point. Well, that'll give him some confidence winning that game. Hey, excellent break to serve. And they're about to start this game. Fifteen long. down the line for a winner. Point now. Oh, an awesome backhand down the line for a winner. Not enough hit on that one. Well, he's half a break chance here. He's got to be feeling good about himself there. Hit a couple of big serves, get himself out of trouble. All of a sudden, he's strutting around that court a little bit. He's got that chest sticking out. Oh, great game to win, wasn't it? Tight, but uh, good effort. Well, he's in big trouble in this set. I mean, he really does have to just concentrate on the very first point of this service game. Not 
Well, he's full of confidence now. Getting a clean winner, setting up match point. Well, he's finally got there, match point. And in the end, it's all over. I tell you, there's an incredible sense of relief when you finally get that match under your belt. Every match counts. You want to get those nerves out. Then you can start to let it go a little bit more and play your best tennis. Well, that's about all we have from the US Open tonight in the Arthur Ashe Stadium. With John McEnroe, I'm Pat Cash, and all at EA Sports, I'd like to thank you very much and say good night.